another edition of HTFC Life presents Life Sessions partnered by ET Now, a series of discussions to generate awareness about life insurance. Now, according to the economic survey of 2022, did you know that only 3% of Indians have a life insurance policy? Therefore, on the occasion of Insurance Awareness Day, we bring you Mission Life, an awareness initiative which promotes life insurance for everyone. Life insurance provides a much needed safety net to individuals and their family, ensuring that their financial obligations are met and their dreams and aspirations are protected. Why then are more Indians not opting for life insurance? What are the barriers stopping them from securing the future of their loved ones? What are the misconceptions about life insurance among Indians? To answer these important questions, we first need to understand how the common Indian perceives life insurance. Our team spoke with a number of people about it and here's what they had to say. Are you married? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm married. Or do you do a job or business? I am into business as of now. Job is my job. Do you have any kids? Uh, no kids. No, I have Yes, I have two daughters. Have you made any financial investments for uh, securing your future or your family's future? I'm actively in, you know, investing in SIPs. I have invested in stocks. I have invested in mutual funds. NPS, Sukhanya Samhiti Yojana. I have an FD. PPF, NPS and life insurance. And when you took that policy out, what was going on in your mind? I wanted my parents to, you know, live a secured life and not a compromised one. Have you taken out a life insurance policy? No, not yet. Not, not the life insurance. To be very honest, I am a bit young right now. It is not so important for me to get a life insurance. For me, it was too complex. Do you have life insurance? I don't have money life insurance. Pay karne ke liye. Life insurance should definitely be taken. One, it protects you. Plus, in the future, if you have something happen, then my family will benefit. That's the thing. Life insurance is obviously too big a thing. Then my family will benefit. That's the thing. Life insurance is obviously too secure my dependents' life, basically. And your life insurance policy is it employer provided or you have individually taken it? I have taken it individually. This is employer provided. Jo mere paas life insurance hai, wo meri company nahi provide kara hua hai. That coverage is that enough to counter inflation and any other unforeseen uh, circumstances? I think I'm not at that age right now where I'm actually very actively thinking about the unforeseen circumstances. Mere ko abhi ek problem hua tha, to mere ko chalbut padi thi. Uske through mera ho gaya tha. Life insurance plan ke through. Insurance ke plan ke through. Or koi loans liye hain aapne? Ha. I have a loan. It's my home loan. Yes, I have one car loan. Are you aware that one can secure a loan against their life insurance policy? No, that's that's something new for me. No, I'm not aware. You know? Yes, I know that. Young logo ko bhi uh, life insurance policy leni chahiye. Abhi se le lenge to jada better rahega. Leni sabko chahiye. Future is uncertain. Aaj kal pata nahi chalta hai kab aadmi raat ko sota hai aur subah uthe na uthe. Youngsters who have started who have started earning, they should start at that time only. See, health will be declining as you grow old so life insurance for me is definitely a must it is not required at a young age if, if you're healthy you're okay yeah it's important thing we don't know what will happen next a lot of people think that life insurance is complicated what do you think initially it was complicated when but when you are dealing with every year basis it's easy for us oh I think I I am that segment of people who think that you know everything to do with uh, insurance is complicated i think they don't understand the reason why they want a life insurance possibly if you pay attention and if you understand the things it's simple maths one can get their paid premiums back once their life insurance term ends how true is that statement i think it's not possible whatever money you have invested you don't get it i had started with one policy and then after 10 years i got my premium very much in time a million I don't think so actually. Aisha, as you can see, there seem to be a lot of barriers to life insurance in the minds of the people. And to break these barriers, it's important that we debunk the myths surrounding life insurance and encourage people to secure their financial future and that of their loved ones. Thank you, Fahad. Debunking myths around life insurance definitely seems like the way to go. And to help us do that, I have with me today Mr. Gunjan Sharma, Head Distribution, Life Insurance and Investment Products, HDFC Bank, and Mr. Lavnish Gupta, Group Head, Bank Assurance, HDFC Life. 
Thank you both of you for taking the time out. Gunjan, if I could start off with you, you know, this whole myth and misconcept, I guess, around life insurance being extremely complicated. Is that really true? Thank you, Aisha and Etina, for uh, having us over. Uh, and I'll try to answer your uh, uh, question in, in multiple parts. Sure. To start with, uh, I think it, it's, it's definitely a myth. Mm -hmm. The fact that life insurance is a complicated product. And there are reasons for it to be a myth for, for so many years now. Uh, in fact, in my view, life insurance, particularly term insurance, which I think everyone should have mm -hmm. as a, as a must-have financial product, is one of the simplest uh, financial products to to look at and to and to purchase. Mm -hmm. Uh, apart from the fact that term insurance is one of the simplest, I also believe that it should be one of the very first uh, financial product that every individual should purchase uh, at the time of uh, when he or she starts uh, earning or starts uh, uh, a business. Uh, it is about uh, the awareness that uh, general population or people will have about life insurance as, as a product category. Uh, if, if you look at uh, our country, uh, uh, look at uh, all the parameters, whether it is uh, insurance penetration, which is roughly around three and a half odd percent, uh, insurance density, roughly six thousand rupees of average premium that an individual would would pay, uh, which which is far less. Uh, so, in in that sense, it has been a misconception because of the awareness that the product has. Uh, are we moving in the right direction to ensure that there is more and more awareness and the misconception and goes simplicity. away? simplicity. Exactly. Yeah. So are we moving in the right direction? We definitely are. And I think the, the government per se has been the flag bearer in ensuring that the misconception goes away uh, at the earliest with a with lot of initiatives. You talk about insurance for all by 2047, mm -hmm. all the stakeholders, distributors, manufacturers coming together to ensure that the awareness uh, increases as, as the years go by. Uh, do we all need to work harder towards ensuring that this myth goes away at the earliest? Definitely. Lavnish, the other thing is, you know, here we're talking about times where everyone is trying to, um, you know, think about how to increase the longevity of their life. We're talking about how to live 100 and, you know, science has also made so much advancement. And a lot many times you have uh, queries coming in, do I really need life insurance to begin with? I'm young, I'm healthy. So just to lay emphasis on that everyone needs a life insurance policy. Thank you, Aisha, once again, uh, you know, and ET now uh, for having us over. Uh, so it's a very uh, relevant point always which comes across that why life insurance mm -hmm. and uh, also across the age which we do see as a very common factor which people say. But if you look at it, uh, you know, unfortunately we don't have any social security system in India. Unlike uh, global pool uh, where you see that the you know life insurance is embedded into the social security. So that's one lacuna in our country which we need to really look at how do we address. Uh, that brings in the life insurance awareness automatically as a compulsive habit. Somewhere that uh, uh, awareness, which like uh, Gunjan mentioned about uh, the awareness about the insurers, the distributors, all put together need to do the reach out. And I think also there has to be a social angle towards the security, which has to come from the government side, which we need to look at how to build on it. I think these will help. Also. The other fact which youngsters do believe uh, and they miss out is when you're young, you don't have those health complications. You buy the cheapest product and also a larger product. So I think that is what is important that no age should be a determining factor to buy life insurance. So I would say that is where it comes from what we have to look in building the life insurance piece. And it's every age you need to buy. And as the life stages and income increases, you need to increase your uh, cover as well. You know, I think that is a very important point, Gujan, because for someone who's in their early 20s, who's just started earning, their means and maybe even, um, you know, thought process is very different than someone who already has a family, is in their mid-40s. How much life cover do you really need and how do you calculate that? Like we discussed, a, a term plan uh, as, as a method to start life insurance should be one of the earliest products that you should one should purchase mm. uh, when is the right time to start if you already don't have a, a, a term plan uh, the answer is as of yesterday uh, 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 what is the right amount of life cover that uh, i would need uh, i would say it would vary on uh, it would vary because of number of uh, factors uh, age income 
your expenses, what is your lifestyle, what are the life goals that you have set over the uh, over the next uh, and few how many years. dependents you exactly. have exactly. Yeah, I would say that it would be a combination of three R's, which is you should research, you should constantly review, and then you should constantly rebalance or uh, uh, you know readjust your. Uh, a life cover in 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 accordance with your number of parameters that we have already uh, discussed as a thumb rule while it should be uh, around 10 times of your uh, yearly income i would say if you are starting early you should go for a higher factor and as your life goals uh, uh, pass by uh, you achieve your life goals you are moving into your retirement you're moving into a different phase of your life you should always look back and rebalance one of the common factors should be you should always consult your financial advisor to assess your uh, uh, life coverage that you need the life coverage that you have and how would it ensure one of the basics of taking a life insurance is ensuring that your lifestyle is maintained, your family is protected, even if the person is not around. You know, here, Lavnish, I guess the other point is that most companies that one is working in also provide you that insurance, right? Group insurance. Is that not enough? I think like uh, Gunjan touched upon the point that uh, human life value and uh, human life value is 10 times the salary is a you know, thumb rule which people normally look at it. Uh, so group insurance is a quasi social security, uh, but doesn't really justify the human life value. Uh, it could be one time the salary or two times the salary, but doesn't really take care of the real human life value at that point of time. So does it really take care of the group insurance need through that route? I think there is a lot of leeway in that. And uh, I think we need to evaluate basis the, uh, you know, the financial advisor, look at the calculation, what are the loans which he has? How does he need to cover his human life value for the earnings which he will not be there, which family needs to be fending for? I think those are the factors which will be important. And uh, I don't think the full coverage can happen through group insurance. And last bit, group insurance, if you leave the company, you don't get to carry it. So there's no porting right now as of now. So I think those are the important factors while looking at it. And also, I guess, Gunjan, different people, you know, have different needs in terms of how big is the family size, number of dependents, etc., etc. Can you, along the way, go on customizing your cover? Oh, definitely. One is to obviously, uh, like we discussed about rebalancing the, the, the life insurance coverage that you would need as you move along. The second is, even at the time of taking the first policy, you could always look at customizing the overall coverage through various uh, riders and and that in in a sense becomes uh, your complete coverage uh, not just uh, for life insurance you could add riders uh, for your health cover you could add riders for uh, accidental cover and number of other critical illnesses as well so the customization could happen or should happen right at the time of taking the the first plan or the first coverage but along the way you could always rebalance, assess the, the premiums that you are paying vis-a-vis -vis the, the coverage that you are getting, what is the additional coverage that you require. That should happen along the way. But the mantra is to start early because that is where the premiums for your basic coverage or for the rider uh, coverage are the lowest. And uh, would, you would get a higher coverage uh, uh, without going in for the requirements of uh, medicals or having some... Uh, issue related to your health, which could always occur at a, at a, at a later stages of uh, life. Ravnish, one often sees that a lot of people take various amounts of loans during their lifetime, right, for their specific needs. Everything from even travel loans nowadays, yes, to yes. medical, to education, to home, to what have you. Can life insurance products also help in securing loans in case of, say, certain uncertainties or emergencies? Definitely. So I think uh, the answer is clearly yes. And uh, you know, uh, HDFC Bank is an example which has done uh, so well in terms of covering the risks. And it is proven during COVID times, the number of people who have not been homeless, mm -hmm. thanks to the loans being covered, yeah. is a sheer example. Uh, so, you know, there have been a lot of personal incidences which have been there, classmates, batchmates, uh, both the parents gone, and the family did not know what to do. The life cover amounts against the housing loans which they had taken helped them to stay back. So, you know, so those are examples which people have seen in the last three, four years. Maybe the importance of it was not realized earlier. But luckily, people who had taken that over a period of time covering their loans, I think it's very important as a factor. And I would say that 
any kind of loan, whether it's housing loan, personal loan, you should not leave any liability for the other family member to fend for who's not earning and to lead a life which is respectable. So, you know, definitely any type of loan which you take, I think you should take, tend to take a cover immediately rather than wait for it, whatever the cost may be. So I think apart from human life value, the other factor is whatever liabilities you have, you should, human life value plus the liabilities should definitely be covered for. Gunja, now let's get back to the basics. For someone who is a 20 year old has just started earning, they want to know how do I go about starting my whole process? What's the step number one? A 20 year old uh, who has just started earning, uh, got his first salary, uh, there are few financial products that uh, he or she should definitely look at. I always say uh, SIPs and, 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 and a term plan are the most essential financial product for a long-term solution that, that one should look at. Uh, and over the last 20 odd years, the, the, uh, the process of purchasing life insurance has become tremendously easy. Uh, it is no, no longer a, a paper and a pen exercise. You could go to various online platforms. Uh, you can go to websites, you can go to, uh, like in banks case, you can go to the net banking uh, uh, platform decide the kind of coverage that you need and start the process. Uh, just to add on what Gunjan was mentioning, I think uh, uh, the journey has been, uh, you know, both the distributor and life insurer side has been very, uh, to make it a very convenient one over last decade or so. And in the life insurance term is the one which is the most cumbersome because it involves a lot of financial and the medical requirements. Uh, so the process has, uh, you know, I would say, has, is it 100% achieved? Maybe not, but at least it has reached the path of about 80% of it. And what I mean by 80% is that uh, the level of medical requirements uh, from what used to be physical medicals has come down to even some of the cases going into video medicals. You know, you can do it at the ease of home. Uh, so those are things which have been structured basis particular, some assured basis particular age. Those are the uh, things which have become easy to do. Great, Gunjan Lavnish, both of you, thank you uh, as always for sharing with us your valuable insights and I hope all our audiences will realize the importance and more importantly the ease of life insurance policies. Well, that brings us to the conclusion of today's discussion. I'm sure that our viewers were able to benefit greatly from both of our experts. We learned to know that life insurance is an essential financial tool which provides a much needed safety net to policyholders as well as their dependents. No matter what stage of life you're at, with life insurance, you can lead a more fulfilling life knowing that the future of your loved ones is secure. So this Insurance Awareness Day, embark on Mission Life, life insurance for everyone.